Hi, internet viewers. It's Frank Rauscher again. And the last time when we were working on the Wren, we put that brow in where we had the white streak going through and the black. And we may come back in and enhance that black a little bit more. But first, uh, what we want to do we've got all the markings done on here all the way around and what we're going to start doing is the washes so i'm going to show you uh the stages of how to do the washes and then uh we'll uh try to finalize it as best we can and uh see how we do okay so i'm going to move the camera down like i usually do and give you more of a closer shot at how I'm doing it and uh we'll see if we can't start getting this finalized okay so uh bear with me and I'll bring the camera down thank you okay we're back now what we're going to do is we're going to mix some colors up and the first one we want to do this here is raw sienna and I'm going to get maybe a little BB size of paint in there in the cup. You can see that okay. And I'm going to get a brush, wet my brush here, have my cup, have a paper towel, get some water. And on this, I'm going to fill it up maybe about, not quite halfway, almost there on the cup. And I want to really stir this really good to make sure I have all of the paint dissolved. I want it really liquidy. This is a wash, so I may even add a little bit more to the wash. And what I may do is just to keep that in that state. I'm going to come over on this side of the cup. Take a little extra paint out of there. Add a little more water. And stir that up really good. Now, this is... Pretty well dissolved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the head, the cheek area, the mantle in here with this color right on through to the back. So bear with me here. I'm going to lay this right in there. I'm even going to paint the beak and give it a coat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch brushes just for the moment. This is a squared off brush. They call it a flat brush. I'm going to get a pointed brush and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to paint that. Doesn't look like I'm putting much on there because let me just go with the little heavier stuff and just, I don't want to really leave it wet, wet. I'm trying to just get a little coating on there like that, okay? But the idea with the wash is, is to keep it moving and uh, you don't, it, it, it's like uh, everybody that does uh, painting with birds, you want to uh, minimize the amount of water and the washes go on very lightly, okay? So bear with me here. Oop. I don't want to go into the white. Now I just did that, try to keep that away from the white, but now that I ran through that, that's a mistake, but don't worry about it because if you did, you can always come back with the white and enhance that later which we will okay so i'm coming in here 
Now, I'm not going to do everything with this. Uh, this. This last bunch of barring down here, um, I'm going to try to uh, skip. I'm going to, I'll show you, I'm going to do portions of this. I'm going to do the grouping that came down, the grouping right here. But these last three rows down here, I'm going to stay away from. Everything else, I'll give it a, a wash. Now, I'm not throwing a lot in there. You're, you're seeing me do a real light wash, okay? And I'm going to go to the other side. And I'm going to come through the eye area. Coming down onto the wing. And these on the back as well. I'm coming in here. I'm coming down, but I'm la leaving the last three rows of feathers untouched right at the moment. Okay. And I'm trying to stay in the cheek area. And then I'm going to come back up on to the tail. Now, I'm also going to try to get some on the underneath side here, right in here. Just get a bit of a little coloring. And right in here. Hope I didn't walk off camera again when I did that. And get that okay like that now I'm not going to do the tail because I need something to dry I can't put my hands on here so what I'm going to do is get my hair dryer again a little bit away from the paint and the brush I'm going to come in and I'm going to dry all this We're going to need a few coats of this, but I'm not coming on like gangbusters with this. I'm going to put a couple of coats of this. So, you got to be patient. And by doing washing, it's a, it's a process of building up. Hello. I think I blew a fuse. <laughs> That's okay. I think we got enough. Let's see. Yeah, that's dry enough. Now I'm going to do the tail. I'm going to come back, follow up on the tail. And I'll do a little on the back here, just a little bit. Just like that, all the way down into here, down into there, just like that. Okay, now, what I'm going to do is, uh, let me get this over here, I'll set this on here so it doesn't go rocking and rolling on me, and uh, let's see if I move the fuse or not, if you'll bear with me a second, I'm going to move this, let's see, let's see if it goes on. Yeah. So I'm going to stop the camera for a second and I'll be right back. All right, back again. Got the electric fixed up. Sorry about that. The hair dryer blew my uh, circuit protector, surge protector here. So, okay. I think we got everything dry here again. So here's what we're going to do we're going to go back. And I'm going to do this one more time. Let me, let me get this a little, little bit heavier. I'm going to use the heavier mix this time. Just a little bit more. And I'm coming down through here. I'm not touching the chin area. What would be like, here's the, the cheek area, I call it. 
and this is covered here and all this is covered I don't know if I got that the first time or not, but we're definitely going to get it this time. And you can see the coloring on there, I would hope. And I'm coming over here, staying away from the white. Try to get... And the idea is you don't want to do this. You don't want to put your hands on this while it's wet, okay? You really don't. You want to keep everything so it's dry in that respect. So I'm going to come down here, doing that grouping, but it's the last three rows back here that I'm concerned with that I don't want to hit anything on it. I'm going to come back in. I'm going to come right on down to the back here, and I'm going to do it on this side too, just want to make sure you got everything covered, okay, we got that, now, let's see if I can not blow the fuse this time again, so I'm going to put it in a row, and I'm going to dry this real good. One's a light coat, one's a little heavier coat. And I did it again. Oh. Electric must be working double time here. So I'm going to hold these two back here, which I didn't have the paint on. And I'm going to come through and do the tail again. Okay. And I don't know what's happening and why it's blowing it. Because usually it doesn't do that, but, and I'll give it a little bit more of a coat on the back side here. And we're going to let that dry, okay? And if you noticed, I did get some of the raw sienna into the white of the brow so don't concern yourself too much about that but if you did we'll we'll take care of it we have to go back and enhance that anyway i'm going to rinse my brush out in the meantime and then what we're going to do i'm going to definitely try to fix that fuse before we get going again i'm going to get some burnt sienna and I'm going to get just a little bit out. You can see it's not even a, a BB size of paint. And this comes on pretty strong, but I'm going to go about maybe a, a, a third of the way of the cup. And I'm going to mix this really good. Okay. And you want to make sure that this is really all mixed in. See how you got some globs on there? I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. But, uh, yeah, I'm really trying to make sure that every all the paint, and there wasn't a lot in there. I don't use a lot with this rule, uh, the burnt sienna, because the burnt sienna tends to uh, really uh, go far. It, it's a more intense color than the raw. And uh, I think we're in good shape there. And I'll dab this off. Let me see how we are here. Yeah, let me try that. Now, I'm going to have to go back and fix my electric. But in the meantime, uh, this here, I think, is dry enough that I could come in 
I am not going to go on a beak this time. I am going to paint again between the brows, okay, and in the cheek area. But I'm going to do it on the back side of the cheek. I'm not going to the front. I'm doing from behind the eye here. And then I'm going to come down and I'm going to go up into uh, the tail. And uh, I noticed I didn't get the ends over here, and that's okay. We'll catch that. And we are going to do the grouping up here. There you've got like four and then four down. And you got this front group and a little bit more over here. They're the only ones that don't get it is the last three rows here. Okay, on the bottom. It's one. Let me get my pencil here so I can show you. It's this one this one and this one and it's the same on the other side so I'm gonna hold that because they aren't painted and I think I still got some it's damp on the on the tail here but we'll start on the head so I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to come back and put some of that burnt sienna through here. Now, I'm going to come in right in this area, but I'm not going to go forward too much. I'm going to do just slightly behind the eye and back further here, like that. Okay, I'm going to get a little more paint. I'm going to come down into this area and this area. To the area I'm going to come right on down to here and come down one more there so I have not done the last three rows here now I'm going to come through here let me do the other side let me grab this so I can get this side Gonna come through here, right up to the tail. Wanna get the edges here too. Don't forget the edges right here. It's important because you don't want to come back and try to overpaint some of this later. You will, but whoa, 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 whoa. Oh jeez. Drop that right in there. We'll get it off. There we go. Now, let me come in here. I'm going to charge my brush up. So I'm going to show you all the things you shouldn't be doing. And that happens along the way. So don't feel as though you can't make mistakes. Boy, I'm going to show you good ones here. Okay, I'm coming down here. Coming all the way down to here. Getting the ones in front. And I'm getting this all the way down into here. And I'm going to do the tail with it as well. Okay. And let me just come back and enhance this a little bit. Get that edge. Okay. I'm not going to do the back. The back, I'll rinse my brush out, and I'm going to come in with the raw sienna in here, and leave it at that, just like that, okay? So, let me just stop the cameras for a minute. I'm going to do this back here again, under here, and make sure you get the edges so that you don't have any white showing. You know, we're, we're trying to get everything edged, okay? So, I'd like you to get to that. So, what we've done now is we've done two washes of raw sienna. That was the first ones. And then two of the burnt, well, actually one right at the moment. And uh, we'll dry this, and then I'll give it a second coat. And and then 
I'm going to go and fix my fuse here and I'll dry this while we're off camera here for a second and then uh, we'll proceed on on the next coat of the burnt sienna okay so bear with me a second I apologize for the interruption and we'll be right back 